a crowded town hall meeting of community members voicing their opinions regarding MBAR's expansion. I asked for 30 years to listen to someone else's music at 10 or 11 at night. MBAR leaders giving out fact sheets to all who attended tonight's meeting, clarifying some information regarding the expansion plan. One major issue clarified was the outdoor space. MBAR says the space will feature a stage and seating area for two to 300 people, but not the features of an amphitheater. We're not talking about an amphitheater when you think of an amphitheater like the Brandon Amphitheater. According to the Ridgewood Park Neighborhood Association, another concern was residents never being informed by the city before the permit was issued to build. Hillman says due to the zoning of MBAR, they're able to pursue plans for expansion. C3 is a commercial district. It allows bars and restaurants, and a patio is an accessory use to that. Loud music is accessory use to that, and that's how it's traditionally been applied over the years. Crime and safety was another hot topic discussed at the meeting. No one has MBAR says they're working with JPD and Hines County Sheriff's Department to not only combat crime, but maintain a close relationship with city leaders. And while plans are still moving forward for the Jackson business, residents say they still plan to speak out and learn more about the zoning laws in their neighborhood. It's a done deal. So even though we're here, we've talked about it, we have to look at what's the recourse. Because at this point, it's been approved and it's going to happen unless something's changed. We as neighbors now are going to have to go to the city and we're going to have to try and get it changed about how things are zoned in our area. Kara Peters joining us live now with even more on MBAR's plans. Kara. Well, this is the fact sheet that attendees were given during tonight's meeting. That's just outlining more of those expansion plans as well as the clarifications that I mentioned earlier. Now, the first phase of this expansion plan is set to be done by August of this year, and this entire plan costing anywhere from eight million to ten million dollars. Now, the owner of MBAR was not able to make it to tonight's meeting due to a prior obligation. Reporting live in Jackson, Kara Peters, 16 WAPT News.